The downside is that the VLLM codebase is sprawling. If you open it up to learn how one specific feature works, you can easily get lost in files that call other files, which call still more files written in lower level languages. That makes it powerful, but also hard to read. Nano turns that situation upside down. The author wrote every component in plain, modern Python with clear comments and arranged the code so you can follow each step from input prompt to final output without jumping through dozens of layers. In practice, it feels like a guided tour of a large language model's brain, but it still runs fast enough to keep up with its heavyweight cousin in many offline tests. When I say offline, I mean single user jobs where you already have a chunk of text to process, think research experiments, data labeling, or hobby projects, not the busy public chatbots that need to handle streams of questions from lots of people at once. 